Time for a recent reads. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and today I've got a recent reads for you. I've got four books that I have, well, recently read that I'm going to share with you with various authors and pretty much all of these have been on my TBR, I think, except for one of them. I don't think I put that one on my TBR, but I'm going to talk about it because I read it. Uh, we will link the four books I have down below. Also down there is the podcast episode. Today's, or well, I guess the day of us filming this today, is the Shining episode. Ooh. Next week, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, but check it out. we got the bookstagrams down there. Danielle's channel. Get her to 1K subbies. That'd be fantabulous. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let's get into the books. All right, I'm going to go in the order of which I had read them in. Uh, the first book I read in 2023, whoop, is Duma Key by Stephen King. Okay, so a lot of people really have this on their, like, top 10 or, like, top 15. I'm going to say this book was kind of in the middle of the road. I'm going to give it four stars. I thought the plot was really good. The story was great. You know what? Four and a half. I'm going to give it four and a half stars. It was a really solid book, and this book was following a gentleman named Edgar Fremantle. He gets in an accident on a job site that I'm pretty sure he's like the owner of the company or something like that, or he's like one of the big guys that's involved with it, and he loses his right arm, and he loses a lot of feeling like in his body. Over time, he kind of gets like the strength back. His wife leaves him, doesn't really want, like the daughters really want to keep seeing him and stuff like that, and one day, I don't remember if it was his physical therapist or just a doctor who like asked him, like, well, what do you like, like to do? Because you can't go back into construction. And he's like, well, I used to sketch. And so he goes to Duma Key Island to basically start drawing. And he meets a really cool guy. He was one of my favorite characters in this book. He was one of the first people he met on the island. And what he basically would do is he would like walk a certain amount of steps every day and then walk back walk a certain like a little bit longer then walk back walk a little bit longer and come back and then he like met this one guy and he's like you're gonna make it over here today he's like nah it probably will be like three or four days and like i just thought it was funny that he like just wouldn't like walk the extra like 20 or so feet to go and meet the guy but i guess he set his parameters and he followed through with them so it was cool yeah I, the only reason why i really docked it was i kind of got a little confused towards the end i kind of got some explanation when I went through and kind of read a few more things about like the ending and stuff like that like all the stuff on the ship that's kind of what got me but besides that really solid story really solid book I liked Edgar and like I said there's the other guy but I really can't remember his name and it's really pissing me off because <clears throat> he was a really cool dude but anyway uh, oh, Wire Man. Ah, oh, yeah, I do it. Figured out. Wire Man. Yeah, he was a really cool dude. So yeah, four and a half stars. Duma Key, Stephen King. All right, this next one I'm gonna have a real fun time with this author. Um, the Island by Adrian McKinty. Ha ha, I did it. So I'd read The Chain by this author and I really liked it. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about The Chain was like the whole second half of the book. Like the whole first half, five stars. Second half, kind of, eh, whatever. This book, I gave five stars. I thought this book was fantastic. This book we're following Tom and Heather and their teenage, well actually it's Tom, so the mom so Tom's first wife dies, and that's like not like a spoiler or anything, because otherwise Heather would not be with us. And Heather is kind of like, she's the new mom, she's younger, and Tom had two kids, or like teenagers or something like that. And they go to this, like, they go on this vacation, and what ends up happening is like, the kids like want to see some animals. I think they're in Australia, I think is where they go or something like that. That sounds correct, because they keep mentioning koalas and stuff like that. So they go to Australia as a vacation, and, like, Tom's doing, like, a business thing down there. And pretty much what happens is the kids want to see more animals. So this tourist guy is, like, I don't, I don't know if he's, like, a tourist, but he's, like, some dude, and he's just, like, yeah, the island over there's got tons of animals, but it's off limits and it's dangerous. And my first thought was, okay, with well, him, why the hell would you even mention it? But basically, he takes them on the island... An accident happens while Tom and Heather are on the island. They hit somebody and all hell ba like basically breaks loose. They try and cover it up. Everyone on the island is basically like family or like really close together. And so 
they try and cover up the incident, does not go well for them, and, like, I did have one prediction that did come true in this book. This is a thriller, and there were lots of twists. I, I mean, I just really liked the story, and I liked how it ended, mainly because the main, like, like Heather is a character I thought was really well done and I really enjoyed like following her along and yeah I personally think like the epic plot twist of like the mom's death and like all that stuff I thought was like really cool and I really liked how he wrote the book it was really good so I will say this is better than The Chain um, I know a lot of people really like this book this came out last year and I, it's up there for me. It's in good contention for top of the year so far, even though I read five of them. So there you have The Island by Adrian McKinty. All right, going on from a good book to a book that I really just didn't like. And it was the buddy read Danielle and I had set aside for January. And I just didn't like it. Take Me Apart, Sarah Sliger. Sliger. Sliger? This book was... The book... Okay. So in this book, we have a girl named Miranda. She is like a photographer back like decades ago. And like, basically what happens is she kills herself. And like, the whole point of the book is this new journalist, I think her name is Kate. Yeah, Kate is basically working with Theo, uh, Miranda's son, with like going through all of her artwork, going through all of her stuff. And like, Kate is secretly also trying to be like, she was a murderer. There's no way she killed herself. And like this and that. And she's like trying. The whole premise of the book is her trying to figure out if she was actually murdered or if she actually killed herself. And I'm going to tell you the plot reveal at the end. I gave this two and a half stars. It sucked. I like. Like I need to be chill with this. I. It, I told Danielle this. It was just like. For the amount of, like, twists I thought that were going to happen, it was flatter than the table. Like, there are no twists. It was just flat. I didn't like it. I, I, I don't know if anyone else is going to have a different opinion. Let me know if you like this book. Give me some reasons why. I thought Kate as a character was pretty cool. But, and Theo was pretty cool. But besides that, book was dull. I just, it, meh, Didn't like it. So... Uh, we'll just leave it at that. There you have Take Me Apart by Sarah Sliger. Sliger. Sligar. All right. Next up is the book that, or well, I guess the last one up, is the book that I think is already, like, in very, very strong contention for book of the year. Um, I don't know if anything will topple this down, but I'm open to whatever. I finally read Swan Song by Robert McCammon. And I know when I said I was going to read this, a lot of people were excited for me to finally get to this. This book is a post-apocalyptic world that was brought to brought to you by um, basically World War III. Uh, Russia and the U.S. basically launched all their nukes at each other, decimated everything, and we're following a lot of people in this book. Uh, we're following Juan, um, who's like the main girl, this guy named Josh Hutchins, who's this like pro wrestler, he's this really ginormous black dude. Then we're following, um, let's see, there's this like weird kid named like uh, Roland or something like that. He's like this really like weird sadistic kid who like, I think he was at like a US base when like the nukes hit. He saves this like colonel or something like that, and cuts off his hand, and basically it uh, this book basically is the stand. It's like this book, like it's it's the stand in my opinion. There's some dude who they say has got like a crimson eye or something like that. Like, come on, come on, uh, the Crimson King. Uh, that's the stand. Um, Randall Flag. That's basically who our main like villain is. Basically, like a Randall Flag type dude. Now we have sister. Um, which is a nun, and her actual name is Sister. Um, she ends up meet like it. Oh, dude, I love this book so much. I literally like Josh is probably one of the best characters I've ever read. He was like the greatest dude like ever. Literally protected the hell out of Swan. Basically, like they're all trying to convene. Swan has got a gift, which you learn about halfway through the book. Um, she basically like gives life. Like, she goes up to a tree, 
think it's an apple tree. She touches it, and then she carves her name into it, and the tree comes back to life. Like, it, literally, like, everything got nuked. Like, everything is gone. Destroyed. Characters are getting radiation poisoning. They're all getting burned. This was in my five-star predictions for the year. And I honestly think out of the ones I've done recently, this is, like, one of the only ones that really ever, like, actually did it. I had read somewhere that he has... He wrote another book, and I don't... I think I was under the impression that it was, like, a sequel or a prequel to Swan Song. If you know about that, let me know in the comments, because I haven't been able to find anything. And I had heard that he has, like, some sort of sequel or some kind of prequel that's kind of related to the swan song so if you know about it let me know because i would like to get that book and read it as well but yeah really really great book swan song by robert mccammon all right so those are the four books i've read most recently i do have a fifth one but i'm going to save that for another time i also really don't know how to pronounce the author's name it's like a translated book or whatever i do have a nice video idea with swan song i'm planning to do like a post-apocalyptic like rating like video where I do like Swan Song, Wanderers, like those kind of books. I've been trying to figure out a fifth one though. So I have Swan Song, The Fireman, The Stand, and Wanderers. If you guys know of a fifth post-apocalyptic world book, let me know in the comments because I am drawing a blank. Um, that often gets related to The Stand. Yeah, I would say that has some relation to The Stand because honestly the other three books that aren't The Stand are pretty close to The Stand. So, but yeah, like I said, we have these four linked down below. Also down there is the podcast, Danielle's channel. Again, trying to get her to 1K subbies. Um, and then uh, the bookstagrams and all that stuff. Uh, let me know what you've read recently along with all the other stuff I've asked throughout this video. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Later.